guys and welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife. Have you ever seen a million dollar pie? Well hang on, you're about to. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Today's kind of a, it's really not a special day. Hang on, I'm shutting a cupboard. It's, um, and it's not, we're not really celebrating anything. It's just been a really, 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 really tough, hard, bad week. Um, we have... It was time for us to get chickens back, so it was time for us to set up the houses and getting the floor level after we had windrowed the litter, and nothing was going right. Nothing was going right. Then Bryant got sick. So we were, we got six houses, six 600-foot houses. We got three of them done, and um, he gave, I mean, he just was too sick to continue. So... Me and the kids did the rest. Um, it's also time for hay. It's hay time. <laughs> and you know, there's an old saying that says, you got to make hay while it's ma hay making weather. And there's a lot of truth in that old saying. Um, <clears throat> because it doesn't wait. You have to be able to cut your hay, you know, when it's at the perfect time. You gotta wait till it's not too green, but you don't want it to be too dry and then all the nutrients be gone. And then you have to deal around the weather. So everything was happening this week. Hay time, chicken house time, um, and, it, and it started to get hot here. And my garden and the tomatoes needed staking. And we have worked and worked and worked. And it's just been a rough, rough, rough week. We've been short with each other, the whole family, and it, that happens to the best of us. We're a ministry family, and it still happens because we just get tired, and we want things to go better, and we think we can make it go better, and if somebody doesn't come on board with us, <coughs> and as you can see, I have developed the crud, and so anyway, Bryant, we've got our chickens. We got them yesterday. We've got our chickens in, and he says, I want tonight to be fun. So we're going to grill out steaks. So um, since he is grilling out a steak, and he's wanting tonight to be fun and special, I thought, I'm going to make a dessert. And what better dessert to have after a hard week of hard, hard work than to have a million-dollar pie. And we can just feel like million-dollar people because it's a million-dollar pie. Where it got its name, I have no earthly idea. But anyway, so we're going to start this pie. I'm going to go wash my hands and um, get the utensils I need, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so it never fails. I actually had to run over to the chicken house and change some things on the controllers. So I'm back. I'm cleaned up, washed my hands. Um... I've been cleaning today, and I'm just taking a break so I can get this dessert made, and I'm going to finish cleaning. The guys are out still working in the hay, and um, so that's what they're doing. Isaac's Ted in the hay, Bryant is raking the hay, and my brother is baling the hay. So, it's hay making time. So, first thing you're going to need with this pie, this million dollar pie, is a graham cracker pie crust. Um, if, if you know how to make your own and you're good at that and you like doing that and you prefer that, then by all means do it. I, it's been a hard week. It's been, I'm tired, don't feel good. So I bought the store bought. Now I did buy one of the large deep dish ones and one small one. This usually makes two pies, but I like to fill it up pretty full. So I don't always have enough to fill up two of these so I got one of each so we'll see we'll see it it always it always makes a different amount 
each time. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, put three-fourths of a cup of chopped pecans in this um, mixing bowl. Let me turn it down here so you guys can see. Okay, and y'all just forgive me if I cough. Now what I'm going to do is, these are chopped, but they're still not quite fine enough for me. Um, so I'm going to take my cabbage chopper and just, and this is the same bowl I'm going to mix the pie So I'm okay if there's pecan crumbs in here because I'm going to mix the pie in here. Now I'm doing this in this bowl, the same bowl I'm going to uh, mix together all the ingredients um, because I don't want to dirty up another dish. Okay, that's good. All right, now what I'm gonna do with these is your pie crust comes with an upside down, it's a cover, but it also, once your pie is made, will become the lid. So I'm actually just gonna pour the pecans in that and set it back down in the pie crust. <clears throat> and yes, there's some pecan crumbs, but that's okay. That's okay, so you're gonna want about an eight ounce, eight to nine ounce um, of whipped cream. Um, so I got the large, I got the large container so I can use, this is a 16 ounce, so I'm going to use a little bit more than half. Uh, and I'm just going to eyeball it. Now this, I can't remember if I double my recipe to make um, two pies or not. And that may be the case. That may be why I always have too much. Alright, so now I'm going to add in one can of sweetened condensed milk. Here's my opener right here. <clears throat> Y'all want to cough so bad I can't stand it. I'm sorry, the table's shaking, y'all. My husband can eat this stuff with a spoon. Fold this into the whipped cream really gently, so you don't want you don't want the air out of the whipped cream too much. So you're going to actually fold instead of stirring or whipping. You're just going to fold it over on itself, and it takes you a little while to get this done. So I'm going to fold, and I'll bring you back in just a second. Okay, guys. So I've got the whipped cream and the Eagle um, Brand. Well, it's not Eagle Brand. It's just sweetened condensed milk. It's the Audi brand. All right. So, now we're going to add in our pecans. From this moment on, well, it's all just a dump and stir. There goes the pecans. And I'm going to put everything in at one time. We'll see how it goes. Now, it calls for coconut. And mine was in the freezer. That's why I've got it on the plate um, following. Um, but put in as much as you like or as little as you like. And if you're not a coconut fan, don't put it in at all. The cake, I mean, the pie will be delicious without it. It'll be, and if you like coconut like we do, my family happens to like coconut. Um, you know, it'll be delicious with it. So it calls for a cup. Unless they have already messed up this half a cup, so. And I'm not going to pack it. I'm just going to put it in loosely. And this is sweetened coconut. Okay, now. Where's my pineapple? Now it calls for pineapple. 
It calls for one of those small cans of pineapple. And of course, I don't have a small can of pineapple. So I had a large can and it's the crushed pineapple. You wanna get the crushed. And you drain a little bit of the juice off. And I'm just gonna guess how much one of those cans is. And I'm kind of squeezing the juice as I lift out. I'm gonna put one more spoonful. All right. That looks like it would be great. All right. So now we just stir. We get everything incorporated really good. And again, as I'm stirring, I'm kind of doing a folding technique, not necessarily a, um, I'm folding it over on itself. I'm being sure to get pineapple and coconut and pecans in every bite. And you know what? I think I want a little more pineapple. And you know what I can do with the rest of this pineapple? Y'all know that pineapple is my secret ingredient to my applesauce. And I must say my applesauce, oh my goodness, it's so good. Even people who normally don't like applesauce like my applesauce. Alright. Y'all, this smells so good. Alright, let's see how many pies we get out of this. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm moving my stuff around. Let me turn y'all down just a little bit more. All right. All right. Here's our big pie crust. There's that one. Now what I'm gonna do when these are finished is I'm gonna stick them, I'm gonna try to find a place for them in my freezer. My word. Oh, gracious. I know y'all can't see me do this. I should turn sideways. Okay, so I would say it was a smart decision to get one deep dish and, or one large um, graham cracker crust, pie crust, and one small. I think that was a one of my smarter decisions. Still didn't quite, well, I guess it did now that I'm spooning it out. I mean, stirring it. Okay, y'all. So, what I'm going to do now, that's all there is to it to the pie, except for this part. Mmm. Y'all. Eagle brand milk. I mean, why do I keep saying that? Sweetened condensed milk and whipped cream. Oh, my goodness. Delicious. All right. So, let me show you. My hands are sticky. Hold on just a second. <clears throat> okay. So let me show you. For Mother's Day, my son, we went to the strawberry farm and they had like a little gift shop. And I saw this in there, and they had a spoon that matched it, like a big serving spoon. And I just thought, I love, it's an enamel, that spongy, um, an enamel. And 
I just thought it was beautiful. So tonight at supper, when it's time to eat, I'm going to set my, my pretty million dollar pie. I'm going to set it right up here and serve it on a pedestal. Now, won't we all feel very special being served a million dollar pie sitting on a pedestal? Ah, that's funny. Anyway, so this is a special evening because we've had a hard week. I've made a great pie that I'm going to try to find a place. This is how I do it. I stick it in the freezer and let it get good, set up good again. <coughs> Excuse me. And then about 30 minutes or 40 minutes, 45 minutes, even an hour um, before we want dessert, I'm going to set it out. And by the time we're ready for it, it'll be the perfect consistency. It won't be frozen solid. It'll have thawed out a little bit, but it'll still be firm. And it's refreshing. It's hot here today. Very hot. And so I'm going to try, that's what I'm going to do now, is find a place in my freezer for these pies. Then I'm going to finish cleaning. Then i got to get my baked potatoes in the oven and salad made. So I can just kind of sit down and chill a little bit because... We've worked hard. It's a special day. I'll put my million dollar feet up. <laughs> Just kidding. So y'all have a great day. Thank you for watching the farm pastor's wife. Hang on. I'm not ending this video yet. I want you to see what it looks like when we slice it. So um, I'll bring you back tonight when we slice it and show you what it looks like. Okay. Hey guys. Well, we just got news that we have a lot of company coming, and that's a great thing. Um, we love company. We love when our house is full. That's um, we, we just love entertaining and having our house full. So we've got several church people coming, and um, Bryant, it was just worked out perfect. Bryant had bought a whole sirloin tip at Sam's and had them slice it there. And so we had 18 to 20 steaks anyway. And so we're going to use them all tonight. And um, I don't know how far my dessert will go, but you'll see in just a little bit. But we are feeding um, 12 to 15 people for 30 bucks. 30 bucks. And they're getting steak. So how awesome is that? And they're getting a million dollar pie. Let me tell you. We are million dollar people tonight living off a penny. So y'all stay tuned and we'll cut the pie in just a little bit. He's a nerd. <laughs> it's a vine I picked up. It's not like that. It goes way better. He's a nerd. The only thing, the only thing, uh, the only thing you love is uh, the books that, that have Hey guys, what's up? Listen, we've had a little change of plans tonight. Have you told them yet? Yeah, we got a bunch of company. Anyway, a bunch of company. We got two young families from the church that kind of just impromptu came over for supper, which is really cool with us because we, we like our house being full of people and, and celebrating and, and it's really cool for us. So anyway, Leslie has made the million dollar pie and we're going to see if it's really a million dollar pie or a 50 cent pie, okay? And uh, we know that some of our guests already have told us they don't like pecans. And they don't like coconut, so they're going to miss out, but don't tell them. But anyway. So they don't get any. They don't get any. They're going to miss out. So we're getting ready to cut this thing. Hang on two seconds. We're going to taste test it, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. There she is. Giving everybody a little small slice. You can see what we had. Look, there we had some leftover steaks. They were really, really, uh, really, really good. Like the bomb.com. So. Here we go, All right, the million dollar pie, here it is. Look at that. She's cutting them little bitty pieces. Look, you can- the large one hadn't set up yet. Look from the side, you see that nuts and pineapple and coconut all in there, it all just looks. And if you, can you tell, we're doing the fine dining tonight right there off of the paper plates. So it makes for easy cleanup, so. 
All right. I'm gonna take everybody. I'm gonna take you in here and let you introduce you guys to the crew. Okay, here we go. You got Miss Ashley right here on the end. Miss Crystal Hi. over there. You all know Jamie, and there is Mr. Noah. Okay, all right. So in just a second, they're gonna be tasting. And uh, look at there. Look at those. Mm. Yeast rolls. rolls. You can get them in the freezer section at Sam's. Okay, <laughs> they're really good and delicious. So, all right, we had a feast of friends tonight <laughs> here at the farming pastor's uh, house, and so uh, hang tight. Look, there's Miss Aubrey looking at you guys while she's drinking her bottle. So, all right, we'll be right back. We're gonna bring the uh, million dollar pie in here and taste in just a second. All right, guys, here we go. We're back. Here we go, farming sure. pastors. Wife, there is Miss Jessica, Isaac's girlfriend. Once again, Miss Ashley, Crystal, our daughter Caroline, Jamie, our son-in-law, and then Noah. Here we go. All right, so, so, so here we go. Miss Ashley is going to go first, and she's going to taste the pie. We don't know if she likes it or not. Crystal uh, does not like pecans or coconut, and so we're going to get Ashley's review. Now, if Ashley lies, it's going to be bad at church tomorrow. Okay, we'll see. It's very cool, very refreshing. Uh, she gives it a thumbs that up. Is good. Good. All right. All right. Here we go, Mr. Noah. Give it a taste no, no, test. Here we go. No. Noah gives it a taste test. Here them. we go. No. He gives it a nod and a wink. So here we go. All right, Jamie. What do you think? I think Jamie's had it before. Did, did he say he had it? Or had it? He has had it now. It's official. It's good. All right, here you go. You heard it here. It is good. So Wait, you hear now Jessica? You got, here's Jessica. I'll be honest. You Jessica is joining us from England. Okay, she is over <laughs> from across the pond. Okay, she well, is. You should let, I'll try. It. Oh, she said it's very voluptuous. Did you hear that? The, the cake is very voluptuous. <laughs> <laughs> what do you Isn't think, Jessica? Word? Very good. Pretty good. Out of context. All right, as I say here in Southern Randolph County, that dog will hunt. So thank you for joining us on this wonderful Saturday. There is the farming pastor's wife once again giving a thumbs up. And as she tells you good night, here's what she says. If the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. All right, thank you guys for joining us. Go to church tomorrow, worship the Lord, and give him the praise that he deserves. Have a great and awesome weekend. We'll see you guys later. Wave bye, Titus. Bye-bye. <laughs>